Hello, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Now, just wanted to share some good news and some advice. I sat for the CCSP uh, certification exam on Monday. Uh, and if you're not aware, the CCSP is one of the most, like, you know, highly regarded cloud security certifications. It's brought to you by the same people who created the CISSP. And, you know, if you're if you watch this channel, you know I talk a lot about not going crazy about certifications, right? Not doing cert after cert after cert. But of course, you need them to baseline your knowledge. So I just wanted to share good news that I passed the examination. And uh, I'm now officially a CCSP. And the thing was, my CCSP exam started at exactly 8 a.m. And after 40 minutes, I was out with the passing result in my hand. So obviously, the tips that I used and the techniques that I used for passing the exam, it worked, right? And I wanted to share them. I wanted to share the good news. And what did I do to pass the examination? So let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at like uh, how I passed the CCSP exam in 40 minutes. And hopefully this benefits you. And hopefully other people are motivated to give the examination also. If you're new to the channel, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Share this video if you found this useful. So let's go. So how did I pass the CCSP examination in uh, 40 minutes? Now the CCSP, if you're not aware, it's like quite a tough examination. You have to like complete, I think 125 questions within three hours, right? And it covers like your cloud security expertise across six domains. Domains, if you're not aware, think of them as like topics you need to master based on your experience and education. And if you pass it, it proves that you have the technical skills, right, For to like work in cloud security, like you're good enough to work in cloud security. And it covers everything from cloud security operations, legal, cloud data security. They're like a massive uh, list of topics that the CCSP examination covers. So what did I do? Now, the first thing I did was smart studying, which is like studying, you know, uh, not like a student, but as a professional who has other things to do, you know. Most of you will be working professionals. You have nine to five jobs. And you come home, you're tired, you have children, your wives, you know, all these things are happening. You have families and it might not be so easy to dedicate yourself that much. So what I did was smart studying, which is you're expected to know all of the topics when you sit for exam. So you have to be smart where you study from. So this was the primary uses that I resource that I use. Uh, this is like the official study guide and the test exam, the practice test questions and answers. A lot of people recommended me to study for multiple books. Honestly, I did not have the time to do that. And uh, I know the energy for that also. So I used, I used these two. And even these two, I I'll show you where I focused on. So this was the official study guide and the practice uh, questions and answers. And it's available for, available from Amazon also. I'll put the link below. This is not an affiliate link. Uh, affiliate link. I'm not like making money or like getting rich from this. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know what I use which is this one. And I'll put the link below also. You can take a look, right? This is what worked for me. Now, within these two resources, what where I focused on? I focused 90%, I would say 95% on the practice questions. And maybe 5% of my time, I focused on the study guide. I, I need you to, I want to be very like clear on this. I think I read the study guide just once. And I think I forgot most of the concepts because passive reading, it doesn't really put those concepts in your head, right? It puts me to sleep. Most of the time, I would say the vast majority of the time, I focused on the practice questions, which are over 800. The, the practice book, which comes, it has over 800 questions. And I cannot stress this enough, guys. Please concentrate more on the practice questions than the study guide. Go over them multiple times because they will give you the mindset you need to pass for the exam. And they will also show you how the questions are structured in the exam and help you pinpoint which domains you are weak in. So like I said, 90% focus on the practice questions and maybe 10% or 5% reading concepts from the study guide. It is the practice questions which will help you focus and get into that, uh, what do you call mind zone where you pass the exam. Now the third one, the least most questions. This is a quite like a toughie because everybody hates these questions, right? All these answers are either all correct or all wrong and you have to find which is the most correct and which is the most wrong. And these can confuse a lot of people, right? It might ask you which is which cloud model gives you the least or the most amount of control, right? So what do you do when you get these sort of questions? And like I said, a lot of people freeze over these sort of questions. So this is an example. This is not from the 
CCSP examination. I'm not telling you the actual question. This is just a sample question, practice questions which are available on the internet. But you can see here the question, how is it structured? Which of the following is the most important factor to consider when selecting a cloud service provider for a business with highly sensitive data? Now, when you get the most or the least, I would always recommend do not look at the answers first. First, think about what the answer is in your head, right? So think about the answer first before looking at the options. And this way you will have already thought of what the answer will be. You will not be confused by the, all the options that are given. So you would be thinking, okay, is A correct, is C correct, is B correct? You will think of, okay, this is the answer. Let me find out where that answer is or which is the closest to that answer. And that will really help you to deal with these sort of questions. Believe me when I say this is the questions which people have told me, they freeze up the most or they're not able to proceed because they cannot understand uh, which of the ones are the correct answer. This is another example, right? Which of the following cloud migration poses the least risk? So again, all of them pose risk, but which is the one which has the least risk? So what are you going to do? You're going to think of the answer first and then look at the options. So you don't get confused. And then you're going to find out which is the one which is the closest to the answer you already have in your head. And that will help you to deal with these sort of questions. So that was number three, least most questions. Uh, number four is eliminating the wrong answers. Or what does that mean? So this is, again, a lot of times you will get questions where you know that like uh, it, it'll be a very close match between two, two answers or, or you'll think that more than one are correct. And this is where you have to, uh, like this really throws off a lot of people, right? You will not be sure of which answer to pay, pick and because th they are very closely linked to each other. And so you're not able to answer. So what do you want to do is in this scenario, I want you to start going one by one and eliminating the wrong answers. Go one by one, eliminate all the answers which are incorrect. Usually it will come down to two options for you to decide, but this will help you to eliminate and at that time if you're not sure so you're not going to be sure which option is correct and both of them equally make a decision do not procrastinate and waste time do not spend 30 minutes thinking about an answer otherwise you will what, what will happen is time is of the essence and you're going to waste time and then you're going to find out that you have like 50 other questions to do so please eliminate the wrong answers go one by one and eliminate the answers which are completely incorrect and ccsp does that it will give you a lot of options which are completely incorrect. If it comes down to two, decide, make a decision and then move on. Right? Do not procrastinate and do not get stuck on one particular question because that will throw off the whole exam. And that brings me to the next answer also, which is time yourself. Time yourself when you practice your questions and answers. Please always keep an eye on how much time you have. Like I said, you have 125 questions, 125 very, very tough questions to do and you have three hours. So it is possible people, they waste 15 minutes torturing themselves over the question and then later on realizing they do not have time to finish the test, right? And what will happen? So what will happen is you'll get stressed out and it will result in you rushing through the remaining ones to save time and making even more errors. So as time yourself, make a decision and like just stick with that decision do not waste time torturing yourself which answer is correct which answer is correct and then you will otherwise you will have an issue with all the questions which are there and lastly and this is not a, a tip act it's more of a observation this year the cc exam i saw it did not focus much on abbreviations or like memorizing stuff right a lot of time you will see in the ccsp guide it has a what are the el1 evaluation assurance level one to el7 and you have to memorize that or uptime levels there was more focus on concepts a lot of questions they tested my concepts and this is very good honestly i hope this trend continues and but it also means that you should deep dive into understanding concepts instead of just memorizing the questions that come in the ccsp they will test your understanding they will give you scenarios and and you have to understand how these cloud security concepts apply do not just memorize the definition of SAST and DAST and software composition analysis. No, you need to understand how they work and where to apply them. And that's pretty much it. This is what I used. Everybody, I hope these tips are useful to you also if you're sitting for the CCSP. Like I said, it is entirely possible to pass the CCSP examination within 60 minutes by following the tips. And if you do good, honestly, if you follow them, hopefully you will see this email also. And uh, if you have invested the time and effort. Uh, I have also other videos on my channel where I go into the CCSP exam, I've covered all the domains also. So check that out. 
and i hope this motivates you to give the ccsp if you have not already good luck on your examination please do like and subscribe to this channel thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video